Hello students, welcome to online classes of Sivaji Group of Institutions. <coughs> students in class 5, subject mathematics. Today we are going to solve remaining questions of exercise 8b and now we will solve and after it we will solve exercise 8c. So, question b of exercise 8b. We have solved question number c. Now we are going to solve question number d. Draw angles whose measures are so we have the measures of angles are given and we have to draw these angles with the help of protector. Okay, first one is angle 40 degree. First part is angle 40 degree. So how we can draw this angle? First, we will first we will draw a line segment and then we will put a protector over here over it and then when and where the 40 degree is written in the protector, we will make this end and this end we will draw a line between these points and then the angle will be formed which will be a 40 degree angle. Okay? So this is your protector. We have 40 degrees written. So from this point, first this is our first draw of this line and mark one point over here. Okay? Then remove this and draw this line. Okay, and this is your 40 degree angle. Okay, students. So all the angles you have to make in the same angle. Now, the question number eight is there are 12 questions, so we will solve two or three questions. The remaining question you have to solve yourself. Question number eight is 90 degree. How we will solve 90 degree? This is protector. This is midpoint of protector, and here you will find 90 degree. Okay. So make a horizontal line and then draw a point, make a point at the 90 degree angle where it is, okay, and then match this line. This will be a 90 degree angle, okay. Second one, in, uh, ninth number is 110 degree. How we will solve, how we will make an angle of 110 degree in the protector? This is 100 and this is 110 degree. So, first make a parallel line, make a horizontal line and keep a protector over it. Then you will find a 110 degree here. Make a point here and then match this point to this point. And the angle point will be, will be 110 degree. Okay, students? So, all the questions you have to solve like this. 10th is 130. Same here, 110, 120, 130. So here, like this, 130 angle will be formed. Okay? Question number E, F, G, and H. For this, we need, uh, we will solve this question in class 1. Okay? Uh, as you know, uh, second of, from 2nd of November, your classes will be start, and then we will solve these questions. Okay, students? So students, remaining four questions we will solve in class one. Now we will solve question exercise eight C. Let's understand some basics of what types of angle. First point is types of angle. So students there are some types of angles. First one is acute angle. Acute angle, right angle. Obtuse angle. Then Straight angle, next one is reflex zero and complete.
acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle, zero angle, and complete angle. So, how uh, let's see how we can divide these types of angle and how they are made. First is acute angle. The angle less than 90 degree. Acute angles are those angles having less than 90 degree or greater than 0 degree. Okay. The angle which is whose mean is greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree is called acute angle. So acute angle is less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degree. Okay. What is right angle? Angle which is of measure 90 degree. Angle of measure 90 degree is called right angle. What is obtuse angle? Angle which is less than 180 degree and greater than 90 degree is called obtuse angle. It means from 91 degree to 179 degree, all the angles between these points is obtuse angle. Okay. What is straight angle? As the angle formed on a straight line is called straight angle. And this is of measure 180 degree. Okay. We know from a point angle form is one, uh, 360 degree. So half of this is 180 degree. Its name is straight angle. So angle form on a straight line is of 180 degree. Okay. What is reflex angle? Reflex angle is reflex angle is greater than 180 degree and less than 270 degree. Okay. So this is the reflex angle. This is a reflex angle. Okay. Sorry, this is not 270, this is 360. Okay, either this, either this. This angle is from reflex angle. So greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree angle is called reflex angle. Okay. What is zero degree angle? Angle uh, you will see this is O and this is A. So angle uh, o A O A angle A O A is zero degree. How? Suppose this is the angle. If we reduce, if we reduce the value of the angle, then this will become lower. And when this line is just above of this line, then the angle form. See, there is two line which is just one over over. Okay, two lines are of one over. So the angle form here is of zero degree. So you, we will say A O A is of zero degree angle. Okay, students. And what is complete angle? If we make an angle, then angle form from here and complete at the end from it is start. Okay. Or we can say from a line we start here and end here. Okay. If the start and end point of an angle is same, then this will be of complete angle or 360 degree angle. Okay. As I told you earlier, from a point, if we return to that point, then the angle form is of 360 and the complete angle is of 360 degree is called complete angle. Okay students, so this is the type of angle. Now we will solve the methods. I'm sorry, we have of this exercise. Now students, first question of its exercise, we state whether the angle is acute, obtuse or right. So question number first is given. And here it is 90 degree written. And we have learned the 90 degree angle is called right angle. Right angle. Okay. And let's take some. 
Sense one is this is 91. So this is called obtuse angle. I have told you obtuse angle is from 90 degree obtuse angle and from 180. It is less than 180. It means its value will be like bit from 91 to 179. Okay, so this angle is of 91, so it is of angle. So all the questions you will, uh, the main question of this part you will solve yourself. Now we will see question number B. Classify the following angles as zero, acute, right, obtuse, reflex, and complete angles. So there is 15. Some 15 angles are given. So we, you have to write kind of type of this angle. First one is 42, and we know angle less than 90 degree and greater than zero degree is called acute angle triangle. So this is acute angle triangle. Second. Let's take uh, question number fifth, five, which is zero degree. So this is point zero angle. Okay. And uh, question number eight is one degree, so it is acute angle triangle. Question nine, three fifty nine. We know 360 is called complete angle, but this is uh, 359, so it is called complex angle. So it is complex angle. And uh, question number 15 is 182. 182 degree. So this is greater than 182, 180, so it will be a complex angle. Okay, students? So exercise 8C is completed. Thank you for today's class.